okay if you like this video please like it share it and subscribe it don't skip any videos and uh, watch continuously uh, for better understanding hi all a happy day and warm greetings to everyone who are watching this video again as a part of continuation of the lesson plant physiology and plant anatomy now we have come to the plant physiology part so uh, in this video we will cover about the topics photosynthesis plastids and photosynthesis okay first what are plastids see plastids are some uh, uh, organelles which give colors to the uh, plant beautiful colors leaf green a irukku um, fruits ku flowers ku la beautiful colors irukku na enna na and the cell ku la irukra and the coloring pigments only will give that uh, beautiful colors to the plant okay so plastids are nothing but uh, uh, color giving pigments present in a plant cell only in a plant cell there are three types of plastids first one is chloroplast which will give green color so all the uh, green color of the leaf is due to the presence of the chloroplast in those leaf cells and chromoplast which give uh, beautiful uh, orange red colors to flowers and fruits tomato or bright orange a irukum bright red a irukum that's all due to the chromoplast present in those cells and then leucoplast they are colorless plastids so what for these plastids are used main are two important da one to prepare food and to store them okay you all know plants are autotrophs they prepare their own food by a process called as photosynthesis and that um, food preparation process is done by these plastids um, so plastids are meant for preparation of food and storage of food ivula da nyaba vechukonu inge vande we will study about the ultra structure of a chloroplast ultra structure ultra structure na or fine structure ஒரு குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் எப்படி இருக்கும் குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட்டை பற்றி ஏன் படிக்க போகிறோம்னா பிகாஸ் வி வில் ஸ்டடி அபவுட் ஃபோட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் கம்மிங் டாபிக் இஸ் ஃபோட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் அண்ட் குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் இஸ் வெரி மச் எசென்ஷியல் ஃபார் தட் ஃபோட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் ஃபோட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் இந்த குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட்டில் தான் நடக்கும் ஸோ அல்ட்ரா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் அ குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டடி எங்கே இருக்கும் குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் ஒரு செல்லுக்குள்ளே இருக்கும் ஓகே அண்ட் இன் அ பிளான்ட் செல் ஒன்லி பிளாஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஒன்லி இன் பிளான்ட் செல்ஸ் ரெண்டு விஷயம் ரெண்டே ரெண்டு ஆர்கனல்ஸ் தான் டபுள் மெம்ரேண்டாக இருக்கும் ஒன்று வந்து குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் இன்னொன்று வந்து மைட்டோகான்ட்ரியா ஓகே ஒன்லி டூ ஆர்கனல்ஸ் விச் ஹேவ் டபுள் மெம்ரேன்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு ரிமெம்பர் திஸ் ஓகே ஒன் இஸ் குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் அனதர் ஒன் இஸ் மைட்டோகான்ட்ரியா தீஸ் டூ ஆர் டபுள் மெம்ரேண்ட் ஆர்கனல்ஸ் அஸ் யூ ஆல் நோ ஆர்கனல்ஸ் ஆர் டைனி லிவிங் பாடிஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் இன் அ செல் டு கேரி அவுட் த ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ செல் ஓகே நோ தட் இஸ் நாட் அவர் டாபிக் வில் கோ ஃபார் த அல்ட்ரா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் ஃபைன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் அ குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் Uh, see this is a four mark question even though this is not a book back uh, question that may be asked so only four things you have to remember first one is envelope second one is stroma third one is thylakoids fourth one is grana first one is envelope envelope na chloroplast la yaar moodi irpa envelope na outer covering nu theriyum inda chloroplast cover aayirukkaru rendu membrane rendu membrane chloroplast moodi irukum okay so first one is outer covering outer covering is uh, called as envelope in case of chloroplast rendu membrane chloroplast a moodi irukum veli irukra membrane will be called as outer membrane and the inner uh, ulla irukra membrane is called as inner membrane as usual and the space between these two is called as intermembrane space so remember chloroplast a yaar moodi irpa and the and the covering ku peri envelope ஸோ எத்தனை கவரிங்ஸ் இருக்கும் ரெண்டு ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் அவுட்டர் கவரிங் விச் இஸ் கால்டஸ் அவுட்டர் மெம்ப்ரேன் அதை தாண்டி உள்ளே வந்துட்டா இஸ் த இஸ் த இன்னர் மெம்ப்ரேன் ஸோ இந்த ரெண்டு மெம்ப்ரேனுக்கும் நடுவில் இருக்கிற ஸ்பேஸ் வில் பி கால்டஸ் இன்டர் மெம்ப்ரேன் ஸ்பேஸ் அவ்வளோதான் இப்போ கவரிங்கை பற்றி படிச்சுட்டோம் இந்த இன்னர் மெம்ப்ரேன் தாண்டி உள்ளே வந்துட்டா உள்ளே இருக்கிற இந்த பேக்ரவுண்ட் ஃபுல்லி வில் பி கால்டஸ் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் அந்த மேட்ரிக்ஸ் இஸ் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் அ சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் கால்டஸ் ஸ்ட்ரோமா தட் கம்ப்ளீட் பேக்ரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் த குளோரோப்ளாஸ்ட் is called as stroma okay first we saw about the envelope okay two envelopes outer membrane and inner membrane adha daandi ulla vandita and the chloroplast ku ulla irukra ella bound ella and the background me we will call it as stroma so in stroma what we will have we will have uh, 70 years ribosomes we will have dna and we will have all many enzymes essential for this photosynthesis and uh, this alone you remember that's all so what is the background of the chloroplast the matrix of the chloroplast is called as stroma okay in the stroma la yaar ella iruka third one 
thylakoids that is we have disc shaped structures like this the mari disc mari irukra structure in the oru oru disc yum we will call it as thylakoid thylakoid ulla irukra space is called as thylakoid lumen okay chloroplast is present only in this thylakoid membrane chloroplast enga irukum chlorophyll appadina chlorophyll enga irukona in the thylakoid membranes la dhaan irukum okay so these thylakoids are disc like structures present in the stroma in the disc onnu mela onni ipdi adiki vacha like a stack stack na and the coins onnu mela onni adiki vacha this complete structure will be called as grana grana singular is granum okay so rendu membrane irukku this is called as envelope outer membrane and inner membrane inner membrane daandi ulla vandita irukra background fulla we will call it as stroma in the stroma la enna irukum we will have 70s ribosomes dna and some enzymes essential for photosynthesis and it, apart from that we have disc shaped structures called as grana found there okay so the disc each and every disc is called as thylakoid this thylakoid is very very important because chlorophyll is present only in this thylakoid membrane and after that when these thylakoids are placed one upon the other one mela one ipdi adiki vacha this complete stack will be called as grana okay adella anganga and mari padinjirukku nu nanchukonga and these all these grana will be joined by some channels ellame in the connected a irukum that will be called as stroma lamellae ivula dhaan yaap kochukna ultra structure first one is envelope which will consist of outer membrane and inner membrane second one and the inner membrane daandi ulla vandita irukkaradhu ellame that background will be called as stroma and that stroma is having 70s ribosomes dna and some enzymes and we have some disc shaped structures i said they are called as thylakoids uh, thylakoid um, in the thylakoid membrane only we will have chlorophyll the pigment green pigment i said and when this thylakoids are placed one upon the other we call that structure as grana the grana ellame will be connected with one another by stroma lamellae this is the complete um, a simple ultra structure of chloroplast what is there in the book okay so you have to remember regarding this this is not a, this is a four mark question uh, but it's not a book back question even though it is very uh, important for you to remember only these four things okay next coming to photosynthesis so first one is what is what is photosynthesis see photo means light synthesis means to build so plants they will absorb light and synthesize their own food so what is photosynthesis this is a two mark question see photosynthesis is a process by which Uh, autotrophic organisms autotrophic organisms na organisms which can prepare their own food appa yarella can prepare their own food na only who have chlorophyll chlorophyll edhuk important na adu mattum na will trap the solar energy the solar energy is trapped and it is converted into chemical energy and the trapping of solar energy is done by green pigment called as chlorophyll so in the chlorophyll yarkella irko they can prepare their own food okay so chlorophyll yark irko green plants some algae and some photosynth photosynthetic bacteria they will have this chlorophyll so this chlorophyll uh, the light will be absorbed and it will be converted into uh, chemical energy so photosynthesis is a process by which green plants uh, some algae and photosynthetic bacteria they absorb the solar energy and convert that into chemical energy and they prepare their own food okay so simple equation for photosynthesis will be um, carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it will be converted into carbohydrates that is c6h12o6 glucose plus oxygen will be given as by product this is the simple equation for uh, photosynthesis so where and all these photosynthesis takes place see this photosynthesis will take place in all the green parts of the plant where chlorophyll is present chlorophyll engalla irukku and the green parts la ellame even in young green stems this photosynthesis will take place it is not a very uh, simple reaction like how we speak or how we represent here because only the outline is given in this book but when you go to higher classes you will learn in detail this is a very very complex biochemical process lot of um, enzymes and uh, biochemical reactions going on we will read just about the outline only here when you go to higher classes you will have a detailed account of this okay 
see photosynthesis it takes place in uh, two phases one is light dependent reaction second one is light independent reaction in the complete photosynthesis process will take place only inside the chlorophyll okay in the idha vandu rendu phase ah divide pannirupanga one light dependent innone light independent light dependent abina by the name itself we can understand it requires light okay it requires light okay so where does this take place light dependent reaction will take place in the thylakoid membrane light dependent reaction will take place in the thylakoid membrane see coming to photosynthetic pigments they are divided into primary pigments and accessory pigments see primary pigment is uh, chlorophyll a and accessory pigments will be chlorophyll b and carotenoids so uh, here the solar energy that is the sun's energy is absorbed by chlorophyll a which will be uh, where the photosynthesis take place so this is called as reaction center chlorophyll a is the primary pigment photosynthetic pigment where the reaction take where the photosynthetic reaction take place which will absorb the solar energy chlorophyll a da vandu solar energy absorb pannu kudukum so this uh, this one this the chlorophyll a is called as reaction center chlorophyll b and carotenoids they are accessory pigments they help in passing the solar energy to chlorophyll a so this they are called as harvesting center in the primary accessory pigments ellame will be called as uh, photosynthetic pigments or photo pigments whatever it is okay so these photosynthetic pigments both primary and accessory pigments they help in absorbing the light energy so what is required for this light dependent reaction light energy is required and this light energy who will absorb these photosynthetic pigments which are nothing but primary as well as accessory pigments primary pigment is chlorophyll a and accessory pigment is chlorophyll b and carotenoids see uh, what is required for light dependent light energy venum in the light energy yaar absorb panni kudupa in the photosynthetic pigments so this light energy is converted into chemical energy and finally we get atp and nadp h2 as end products for light dependent reaction atp is adenosine triphosphate nadp h2 is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate uh, please remember light dependent enga nadakkum thylakoid membrane of chloroplast yaar ella theva light energy theva and the light energy who will absorb abdina photosynthetic pigments okay so finally namak enna kadaikum atp and nadp h2 this reaction is also called as hill reaction okay this is light dependent reaction in the reaction kaprama nadakkaradhu is called as light independent reaction after this reaction is completed this atp and nadp h2 they move into the stroma chloroplast oda stroma ku they will move okay this light dependent take place in thylakoid membrane where chlorophyll is present because they are essential for trapping this light energy finally enna kadaikona atp and nadp h2 okay after the synthesis of atp and nadp h2 this both move into the stroma of the chloroplast where this light independent reaction take place light independent reaction as the name indicates there is no need for light here இதுக்கு லைட் தேவை இல்லை ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கோல்ட் அஸ் டார்க் ரியாக்ஷன் அதனால் இருட்டில் நடக்கும்ன்றது கிடையாது ஆஃப்டர் திஸ் லைட் ரியாக்ஷன் திஸ் டார்க் ரியாக்ஷன் வில் டேக் பிளேஸ் பிகாஸ் இங்கே சிந்தசைஸ் ஆன ஏடிபி அண்ட் என்ஏடிபி ஹெச் டூ இங்கே வேணும் இங்கே தேவை ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் இன் ஸ்ட்ரோமா ஸோ வேர் டூ லைட் இண்டிபெண்ட் ரியாக்ஷன் டேக் பிளேஸ் இன் ஸ்ட்ரோமா ஓகே இங்கே என்னெல்லாம் தேவை 
here in the presence of ATP and NADPH2 carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates that is nothing but glucose okay here enna nadakkum enna la thevana ATP NADPH2 idu enga synthesize a irukku in the light dependent reaction after this completion of this reaction this ATP and NADPH2 they move into the stroma here in the presence of ATP and NADPH2, carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates and this reaction is also called as Calvin cycle. So this is regarding photosynthesis, the two phases of um, photosynthetic reaction, one is light dependent, it takes place in thylakoid membrane, here the light energy which is absorbed by the photosynthetic pigments is finally converted into chemical energy ATP and NADPH2, this is also called as Hill reaction. After the completion, these two products move into the stroma. and here in the stroma with the help of ATP and NADPH2 this carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates this is called as Calvin cycle okay this is regarding photosynthetic photosynthesis and uh, another one thing what you have to remember is photo factors affecting photosynthesis even though this is not a book back question this can be asked in two marks internal factors internal factors abdina plant kulla irukra edellam vandu photosynthesis ku thevayo adellame are factors which will affect photosynthesis okay so we have internal factors as well as external factors external factors na veli endu adu enna eduthukom carbon dioxide availability of water then light idellame are some external factors which will be affected by and some mineral substances, mineral elements which are required. So these are all intern external factors which are, which will influence the photosynthetic reactions. And internal factors have been a life order age and the availability of pigments. And then we have um, accumulation of carbohydrates, several carbohydrates here. and the availability of hormones essential for this reaction. So these are all internal factors. Uh, plant kulla irukra factors allame internal factors. Leaf oda age, availability of pigments, uh, home accumulation of carbohydrates and hormones. Idu allame are internal factors which will influence photosynthesis. External factors na veli enda enna la aduthukom. Carbon dioxide will come from atmosphere. Water and mineral elements will be absorbed by the root and light will be available in the atmosphere which is uh, absorbed by the photosynthetic pigments. So all these are external factors which will influence the photosynthesis. Okay. So this is regarding plastids and photosynthesis. If any doubt is there you can post. Thank you.